Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outriders video. In this video, we're going to take a look at this uh, legendary weapon. It's called Golem's Limb and its original mods. What I mean by that is whenever you uh, loot this weapon, because there is a chance for it to drop anywhere, and uh, these are the mods that are coming with it. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's quickly take a look at it visually and then we'll speak about the mod. So visually it looks gorgeous. You gotta admit those flying stones right there and stuff like that, that is actually pretty dope. But to be honest, this is not something I would use. I would definitely I mean I'm I will dismantle it to get access to the mod that it, it provides. So the main mod it provides is Golem Rising. Uh killing shots grants you protective golem for three seconds. And the thing is, with the Devastator class, uh, if you apply your, on yourself the skill Golem, this thing actually refreshes it. And there's another mod that gives two seconds refresh, so that's five seconds if you combine this one with the other one. I was really hoping that that's going to work because there is this uh, beautiful set, which is called the Statue Set. And it grants us 100% of firepower as long as the Golem or Tremor is active. Right, so now pretty much I'll be able to keep my golem active at all times and benefit from this uh, set bonus, which is great. I still haven't tested it, I need to find a few more items to make a uh, build uh, because right now I'm doing the blo bloody build. Uh, then I'll get onto this, and it should, it should actually do its job. And visually, this weapon looks really nice with uh, the armor itself. So, this is it kind of like, like matches together, it's just like the perfect match. Too bad like we don't get skins for dismantling weapons and we can't apply skins like on other guns. That, that would be co cool. I mean, imagine a, an assault rifle looking like that. That would be really nice. So that's how it looks on uh, the map, uh, on the back. So that's actually very, very nice. All right, let's do a little test. Alright, so I removed my uh, golem set, so you can see it's 8 seconds now. Our job right now is to test uh, separately the mods and then in combination, right? So right now it's 8 seconds and the pump shotgun on its own uh, refills 3 seconds. So I've uh, started a tier 1 expedition, so it's going to be easier to kill the enemies as uh, my main build is actually anomaly and not the firepower. So Plus, uh, we don't really need Seems to test the DMG of this weapon because back porch. Uh, our main thing is to make sure here. the golem resets. So as you can see, bam, it reset. Double kill, reset it. That's the shards, by the way. That's the second mod that applies. It explodes the guy and uh, makes him bleed and deals damage as well. Which I actually haven't talked about the second one, right? So yeah, that was uh, pretty awk. Now, how about we retry this? and apply let's say another helmet I have it separately that would add two seconds and see how much we're getting in return so let's remove this hat and put this one so when the skill is active extends its duration by two seconds meaning right now our thing lasts for eight seconds we're gonna wait until our golem kinda like uh, moves away until let's say into the middle right so that should be four seconds and when we kill the, the enemy in the, in the middle it should fully recover our golem to its stage right so let's go ahead and do that open the door says something let me just first oh yeah hold on a second we didn't talk about the second mod. Well, the second mod is Bone Shard. Kill enemy, detonate enemy bones, and turn them into a uh, sharp hole that deals, whoa, 200k <laughs> damage, <laughs> and inflicts bleed on enemies within 5 meters. That is actually pretty dope. But there's an ultimate one as well, third version, which is even stronger. I have it on another weapon. So let's just damage one guy. Oops. Oh, oops. I think I should have gone for the higher tier. Okay, there we go. Almost to the full. As I said, my firepower isn't the best. Boom. 
There we go. So they actually add up. That's actually very, very nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, so as you saw, it does collab, it does add up, and uh, man, I'm gonna try to do some magic with this thing right now, actually. <laughs> I'm super curious. <laughs> Alright, so I just dismantled the shotgun and I've got access to the Golem Rising, and I actually want to try this out, man. This is crazy. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I, it just, I just boosted, like, maximum duration, right, on my uh, legendary armor pieces and boosted firepower as much as I can get for different kind of activities like killing spree, uh, juggler, captain hunter, and personal space. Uh, the two weapons that I have placed mods before is these two, so I'm going to check it out with this one. I'm actually curious to find out how this one's going to perform. I had this one when it was like level 30 or something. I had to upgrade it uh, before, not now. Uh, so yeah, uh, I do have other legendary weapons, but they are all pure. Basically, I have not um, made any mods on them uh, because I want to review them, right, and play around with them, see how it goes. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and actually this time select one of uh, the actual like camp line, for example. Let's do it. Uh, begin expedition on top tier. All right, so I changed my things a little bit around. These are the skills that I'm going to use: endless mass, golem, and tremor. And for the class, I went all into the top uh, tier tree because that's the uh, weapon damage and let's just see how it goes I mean I'm not aiming to get gold although for this one with my bl uh, bleed build I'm getting gold all the time and like I'm doing it uh, under uh, the requested time like sometimes 9 30 minutes uh, I mean 9 minutes 30 seconds something in that area all right so let's activate the golem boom and this time we got 20 seconds no bad damage Let's actually use this one first. Sweet. And we managed to keep our golem alive. That is very nice. I think having a an explosive or something would be really nice. How about we group them up? Yeah, I need some massive damage. So I can kill enemies that group up with me. In that case, my other mod will trigger and I will not lose uh, the golem. Yeah, definitely need to play around with the mods and I haven't applied the best ones. Not doing the best damage either. Oh well, and again. Wrong mods. Wrong build. Maybe shotgun is the best. Like automatically. Yep. I don't see. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I don't see the need of continuing. It's just this is a wrong go with wrong mods. Insurgents <laughs> could get the best of an outrider. Yeah. Guess I was wrong. But the thing is, the logic behind all this is that you can actually keep your golem alive. So what I would go with most probably is. My main weapon with uh, the third Golem Rising skill, right? Uh, and other weapons such as pistols and uh, the secondary weapon uh, that does mass damage when like reloading, for instance. There's this really good. Oh, wait, I actually have them on my shotguns. Hold on. This one right here, and this one right here. So the logic behind it. Oh, yeah, wait. Let me show you the, uh, the mod itself. Uh, moaning winds that's what I was talking about does uh, 390k damage when reloading so if you unload the clip for example right there we have the explosion right so picture this you're using this gun let's say this has golem rising uh, and by the time you're still fighting you still get surrounded right and uh, you know your golem is ending since we have uh, the main mod uh, I mean the class mod that increase uh, extends the time duration by two seconds for each enemy killed right this mod is actually pretty powerful you trigger explode trigger back to your golem and keep shooting so yeah definitely gonna have to play around with that uh, but anyway uh, this video turned out to be a little bit longer I got carried away but I'm, I'm but I'm sure that this is something 
it's good information, right? If not, uh, comment down below and next time I'll just do something like straight to the point without a lot of testings involved and stuff like that because this is like the first video so as much feedback as possible maybe like next time I should show the weapon, the weapon visually uh, on the character and just show the mod and that's it so looking forward to your comments and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you guys want to say feel free to comment just don't swear simple as that and I'll see you on the next video if you subscribe welcome to Z clan gamer Z soul signing now hi from Ukraine I'll see you later bye